Hey everyone, it's Adrian, and with school starting, me dealing with new people and coming out as trans, I figured you guys could use some trans etiquette. Basically, this video is going to feature some tips on how to treat the trans people in your society, whether you're friends with them, whether you kind of talk to them, whether you don't even know them, just any trans people in your society, to help them not have to go through the awkward moments that I have in the past couple weeks. So number one, first if you don't already know, find out what transgender means. You can do this by either looking it up yourself on the internet or asking the person very nicely yourself. I'll tell you what guys, I'll help you out a little bit right here. Transgender is basically identifying as anything except male or female, but there are many different types of transgender people. There's female to male, male to female, gender fluid, pretty much any gender you can imagine that's not in the binary. So if you feel comfortable, you can kindly ask that person what branch of transgender they are, whether they're gender fluid, gender queer, straight, female to male, or male to female transgender, or any other. Also, another thing I'd like to add in is the fact that not all transgender people change their physical gender. So you can cut it with the questions like, so you want a dick, right? So does that mean you're gonna, you know, grow body hair? Because not all transgender people choose to go through that, and even if they do, it's none of your business. Number two, if unsure, ask about pronouns. This can be a huge relief to transgender people, and not all transgender people use the opposite pronouns. Sometimes they might prefer the pronouns they were born using. Three, if applicable, learn to use their preferred name. I know this can be hard, especially if you've known the person for a very long time, but honestly, it feels so good when someone calls you by your preferred name instead of repeatedly calling you by your old name. Number four, agree to disagree. And this mostly applies to those who aren't accepting of the transgender community, who don't support it, who don't think it's right. Because even if you don't think it's right, you should have enough respect for the person to at least leave them alone about it. I bring this up because one of my friends was actually harassed by someone who didn't support or understand what they were going through. So honestly, if you don't support it, if you don't understand it, if you don't think it's right, that's fine. You do you, but really just don't talk to that person. Don't talk to that person, don't talk about that person, don't approach that person, especially don't harass that person. Just leave them alone and do whatever it is that you do. Five, ask the person if their family knows, and if you don't know this, try not to bring up their new name or pronouns when they're around their family. Because a lot of transgender people, they don't have family that know, and they don't have a safe place. And by you even using different pronouns around them, or calling them by their preferred name, that could cause a lot of trouble back home for that person. And six, just don't make it a big deal. This is pretty much the biggest tip I can give, is just don't make it a big deal. Don't make it very public, don't ask a lot of questions in front of a lot of people, because really, it's just the way people are. And the more you treat that person like you've always treated them as a friend, the less awkward and painful it'll be for everyone involved. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'm sorry. I just figured I'd make a quick video for you guys. I know the light's shining through, that means the night is coming, thank god. But seriously, for the people in my life who've been following that etiquette that I so strategically laid down, thank you very much for making my life wonderful. And for that one asshole who came after my friend, I'm gonna kill you. I just realized I can't say that online because that's technically cyberbullying. I mean, I'm going to hug you with so much love that you eventually suffocate. <laughs>